Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to show you a tool that will help you customize your Go High Level dashboard. So for those who are looking forward to white labeling their high level and changing the look and feel of it, so it looks uh, different than others, they can use this tool, obviously. So this tool is called Visual CSS Editor. Uh, I don't know if you've already heard of it. So uh, you need to search on Google Visu uh, Visual CSS Editor, Google Chrome extension or if you use Microsoft Edge that you can use that in Edge also as you can already see I uh, have already installed it this is my visual CSS editor so that's all you need to do to install this once you install it then you can go to your dashboard as you can see there's uh, there's a lot of customizations I've already done I just wanted to show you how this tool works that's why I'm just gonna make a uh, few stuff here uh, and and show you how you can implement these changes this by the way is not gonna change anything in your dashboard all you need to do after doing the design is to export this code and then you need to put it in your agency level setting so I, I'll show you that later but let me show you how it works so the editor has loaded once I've clicked on this now what I can do is I can select any of these elements a text can be an element, a box can be an element, the whole thing could be an element. Like this is the whole thing, right? So if I select this, I can actually change the background of the high level dashboard. So uh, what I need to do is I can go here and I can like search for stock images that suits my, you know, uh, suits my high level dashboard. So maybe this one see so this is now what it looks like and I can also do some other changes in this I can put gradient in this I can put like whatever uh, whatever I want really so uh, backdrop filters and like do all sorts of edits like that but for now I can just change the color of it that would be enough see I can put some dark kind of color like a red or this blue or whatever keep it as it is so now we were in dashboard edit mode let me show you so this is the mode uh, of I'm, I'm just editing an element in this page now what I need to do to get out of this is select cursor here and then I just have to select single inspector so this will allow me to select another element so let's say this one I just want to change the background color of it there we go changed okay good now we need to do it again for this one let's do it let's do a different one this time okay so this is how you keep changing is uh, the, changing these things and then once you're done you just click export here so this is the actual CSS code that uh, is working which is why you can see all these changes right so you just have to select all these things all these code once you're edit, uh, once you're done editing and then you can close this one now okay so once you're done editing and copying that code like how I showed you using export you just have to come here to company and you have to put the CSS code here as you can see there's already a lot of code in my settings so this is right now working I don't want to mess it up by pasting the uh, this code I've copied from there but this is how you have to actually do it. So I hope you understood this video and I, I hope this video helped. And make sure you subscribe if you are liking these videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.